So if you're not aware, there's been a humongous amount of people that have voiced their frustration with Anheuser-Busch over the past two weeks or so. And it's been pretty well deserved, in my opinion, because they should have never put themselves in this position. But they chose to jump in and get involved and in some stuff that they should have never gotten themselves involved in. And now they've lost $6 billion in market value. And this isn't pocket change. This is a ton of money. Their brand is forever tarnished. And I don't know if they can recover from this. Because they they have a base that... First off, I don't know how you look at the base of Budweiser and say, well, this is going to be a good idea. In case you don't know, real quick, because I haven't made a video on this. I'm not going to make too many on this, but uh, I'm just so impressed with this boycott that's going on with it. But Budweiser decided that they were going to get involved with Dylan Mulvaney, controversial figure. Uh, someone that's really been propped up by so many companies lately. It's it's insane. Almost like this person is a plant or something because they're they're involved with so many different companies. Must be for some BlackRock ESG. I don't know. What I do know is Budweiser partnering, making a partnership with Dill Mulvaney was not the best idea. It was a stupid idea. And it's cost them a shitload of money. And they don't know what to do. They refuse to apologize. But they put out a basic a political apology, basically, the other day, which is this. And they have it in this article. This is right here. Our responsibility to America. And it's basically a political apology that does not an apology. There is no apology in here. But guess who is taking it as an apology? The people that back Dylan Mulvaney. So we're just going to classify them as the woke mob because that's basically what they are. And now they're mad at Budweiser too. (laughs) And this is the audience that they're trying to court because for some reason they see their brand is dying, which is not the case. They're still the number one beer. Now, there's so much better beer than I haven't drank a Budweiser in a long time. Some people still do. That's fine if you've liked them up to this point. Uh, But honestly, to me, this is always a beer that I drank when I was a lot younger and, you know, didn't have the kind of income that I enjoy now compared to then. I mean, the whole point of them was that you could get a lot of it cheap. You could get a big cube of it cheap. You know, you hang out and party. That's why when it's called a frat beer, by the marketing lady who got Budweiser into this mess. Uh, She wasn't wrong. However, what was really funny about that was the pictures that emerged of her enjoying frat culture, which she says she wants to get away from, which is stupid because they depend on frat culture. But, uh, I mean, there is so much back. I've never seen such an effective movement against a company. They really have hurt Budweiser, and this brand, I don't know. I don't think it can recover. But they're out there now trying to put out a new advertisement. This is it right here. It's this horse walking through small towns and uh, some government monuments in Washington. Uh, they even bring in 9-11. Like, what, the, what are you bringing that in this for? That's kind of low. It's dirty, actually. I think that's a little dirty. A little dirty. So this is what they're doing now. They're trying to get back to basics. They're trying to go back to the kind of advertising that they've used before. And I don't think it's going to work. They put this out. They're getting slammed for it. Got some examples here from Brad Morse, good guy. I'm not sure a lineup of B-roll footage and some guy throwing middle America buzzwords at us is going to win us back. And frankly, bringing 9-11 into this is kind of insulting. I agree 100%. 100% with that statement. Uh, 
It's not going to work. But that's what they're doing now. Oh, let's get back to the basics and, and try and do this like we used to do. You don't even need to advertise. <laughs> the beer sells its alcohol sells itself. Okay. It's not it's not a crazy concept. So this is the horse trans now. <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh they're in some trouble. I uh I also saw some Benny Johnson posted something saying the Anheuser Busch guy, the the guy who runs the company, used to work for the CIA. Now I don't know if that's true. Uh, I trust him though; he's a good dude. So if that's true, kind of explains a lot. So, yeah, six billion lost. The ad reads as a brand reset for the beer company, currently embroiled in controversy over a progressive partnership with Dill Mulvaney. Another criticism of this is the fact that that person uh, has a lot of younger people watching them. So you got this person putting beer out in their thing. That's, that's, that's kind of shady as well. Uh, the American Spirit Spot features the brand's iconic Clydesdale glap, uh, galloping across the great American plains and by historic landmarks. Last week, Anheuser-Busch lost more than $6 billion in market cap due to backlash surrounding a partnership with that trans influencer. influencer. Yeah, not the best idea. Not the best idea for them to do. And they've paid for it. And they're going to continue to pay for it. I don't think this brand, that frat culture now, is uh, is done. There's so many other cheap beers that taste just as bad as Budweiser <laughs> that you could switch to. No problem. Now, here's what's really funny about this. Uh, you've got a lot of people in the GOP. Turns out Anheuser-Busch is a big, big donator to several Republicans who are now saying, well, let's just, let's just forget about it. Bygones be bygones, including Trump, Trump Jr. Uh, you should probably stay out of this because you're attached to your dad. So maybe shut up because going after Budweiser and protecting them is not the best look. And then all these conservatives saying that we should we should back off. No. No, 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 no. No, that's not going to happen. The boycott, usually I don't support them because they don't work. But in this case, it is working quite effectively. I've never seen a boycott that was so successful. This brand is completely damaged for a life. They're never going to shake this off. Never going to shake this off. So here's some people responding to this. Here's some takes uh, from the Daily Beast. The National Republican Congressional Committee quietly deleted a fundraising page Saturday that took aim at one of their largest donors, the parent company of Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch. So if you give the GOP mo enough money, the company can do anything they want to society. Check. Never give money to the GOP. Gutless wonders. Always agree with that, actually. Uh, they are gutless. The jokes write themselves. Calls were made. <laughs> uh, too late and too faced. The NRC committee quietly deleted a fundraising page Saturday that took aim at one of the largest donors, the parent company of Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch. This is why none of this that shit that they did made sense. Why would you do why the hell did you do this move? Why did you make this partnership? Blew up in your face. And now you're seeing get woke, go broke once again. And it's not the case of the money. It's the fact that their brand has been so damaged. Like I said, I don't think they can ever shake this off. This has been disastrous for them. And I don't think it's going to get any better. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my locals. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.
Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.